Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Muhammad Hanif bin Hasbullah. And group member is Muhammad Nifan bin Muhammad Akbar. And Muhammad Nabil bin Ahmad Fauzi. We are from Kursi. Our topic suggestion for paper review is Carbon Nanotube Field Effect Transistor Technology. So I will cover chapter 1 and chapter 2 introduction to CN. FET and NTFET research. First part is about the introduction to carbon nanotube. What is the carbon nanotube? First, a uh, carbon nanotube is a tube shaped material made of carbon having a diameter measuring on the nanometer scale. Next, a uh, carbon nanotube are formed from essentially the graphite sheet and the graphite layer appears somewhat like a root up continuous unbroken hexagonal mesh and carbon molecule at the abyss of the hexagon. Nanotube is discovered in the tube of the art distance at NEC by Japanese researcher Sumio Ijima in 1991. So this uh, figure show about the carbon nanotube. Uh, next, we have uh, two types of carbon nanotube. First, single wall carbon nanotube and multi wall carbon nanotube. Part 2 about the research. CNT formed by CNT connecting two metal electrodes. And gate electrode is separated by CNT by thin oxide film. There is no scratching in the CNT channel. Uh, the next, the net current is carried by carry width energy between one micro and two micro that travel from contact one to contact two. This is a type of a CNT. First, we have back gate CNT using single wire carbon nanotube and top gate CNT FET. Uh, third, we have a wrap around CNTFT uh, using the gate light electry and use the metal layer and port suspended CNTFET. Comparison of CNTFET with MOSFET. First, in MOSFET, switching occur by altering China resistivity in CNTFET switching occur by modulation of contact resistance. Second, CNTFET generate three to four times of drive current than the MOSFET. The dead transconductance of CNTFT is four times higher than MOSFET. And last one, the average carrier velocity is double in CNTFT than MOSFET. That's all for me. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Abil bin Mahfauzi, my matrix number is CE10024. Today, I will continue about the presentation from group 6, which is the problems of the CNT FET. Okay, this is the four points that we discover, and the first is uh, the CNT FET device cannot be operated at high temperature or at high electric current. Number two is lifespan is less. Uh, number three, the fabrication process is difficult. And number four, the cost production is high. Okay. Next topic is the for the solutions. Uh, carbon nanotube based FET device uh, recently gained popularity and importance due to the excellent channel mobility and gate capacitor impulse versus voltage characteristic. High dielectric constant resulting material, the metal gate electrode and double gap FET to enable ongoing improvement for improved performance in electronic system. Channel material in standard MOSFET is replaced by a single carbon nanotube due to difficulty of scaling down device size. The, this device serves as a semiconductor channel because of its width which CNT fats are manufactured and they are a more promising alternative to MOSFET. This is the 1 to 5 characteristic of CNT fat. Initially, when applied voltage below this whole voltage, during this current is almost zero. And it's uh, when cost the test hole voltage, the drain current increases gradually. Uh, next, the current depends upon the Scotty barrier 
formed at the junction of CNT and the metal contact at source and the drain. The metals are used here and silver, titanium, palladium, and aluminum. This is the graph of the characteristics of CNT effect, the drain source voltage versus drain current. Next is advantage of CN CNT effect, drain MOSFET. First, low power consumption. Number two, electron mobility is high. Number three, lower threshold voltage. Number four, the better control over channel information. Number five, no direct tunneling. And number six, get leakage current is reduced. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Alright, next I will present about future research. Before that, I will introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Ifan bin Muhammad Akbar. Today I will present about future research. For the future research for our project, carbon dynamic field effect transistor is magnetic data storage device, aligned carbon nanotube, multiple value logic and ternary logic based on carbon nanotube field effect transistor and the last one, the system for in, the system integration integrated integration. All right. Last but not least, I will present about conclusion. All right. Carbon nanotube field effect transistor is incredibly significant, particularly in today's application. Due to the technology is proof, then its improved performance, stability, and consistency are the most important prerequisite for carbon nanotube technology to become to become mainstream technology. Carbon nanotube device offers some distinct benefit compared to the traditional device. Carbon nanotube has been regarded as the most promising carbon nanostructure material for constructing nanoelectronic device. Carbon nanotube field effect transistor device have a bright future and promise to keep uh, field effect transistor scaling and modern law alive. Alright, All right. that's all for our group, group 6 and thank you.